everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a kind of get ready with me video I guess on this look it uses all drugstore products or at least sort of drugstore priced products this is kind of what I would call sort of like a slightly wearable glam look like it's definitely a little bit heavier you can really tell I've done a lot of stuff on the eyes and that but it's nothing like super insta glammy or anything I have a concert today actually um, so I thought I would just film my makeup this morning while I got ready it's not one of my big main concerts that I tend to do like a follow me vlog for or anything so but I do have a couple of those concerts coming up very soon so you'll see some behind the scenes footage of my concert day and like more dramatic looks for those. The concert I'm playing in today is an afternoon concert so I didn't want to go too over the top with like lashes and everything so yeah this is kind of what I came up with and all the drugstore products I'm using are actually ones that I've been sent recently by some very kind subscribers and um, they really helped me out in sourcing some of the products I've been keen to get my hands on that aren't really available in Australia so I was so grateful for them for helping me out in that way. It's made being able to make some drugstore videos for you guys a lot easier because there's just not as much drugstore makeup in Australia and if it is here here, it's often a lot more expensive or you have to order some things online for example I'm using a lot of Milani today we do have Milani in Australia but there's only on an online website um, and things are quite a lot more expensive so I have used everything before so this isn't like a first impressions or anything but I kind of wanted to just sort of put them on my face and that way when I do my haul video I can link you guys to this to be like if you want to see them on my face check out this video because I probably only used about half the products I've actually gotten recently in this video because I just got so many there's so many highlights to get through so remember if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a like for me and do subscribe if you are new here I do make at least three videos a week and without further ado why don't we get into it so I'm gonna go in first with the Maybelline Master Prime this is the hydrating blue version I've actually seen they've just released this in Australia um, but it's in a slightly different packaging so I'm not sure if the product is the same or not it's very different to any other sort of primer I've used. It's a real true mix between like a silicon primer and a hydrating primer. I don't think it helps heaps with longevity, um, like compared to something like my Hourglass one, which is just amazing. But I do think this would be an excellent silicon based primer for people with dry skin because you can use this with a silicon based foundation but it does give you that sort of extra hydration that your skin needs I really like it for foundation I didn't get any from my lovely friends overseas um, but I have a new one to use it is the Mecca life proof long wear foundation in Australia we have a store called Mecca it's kind of like um, the Australian version of Sephora even though we also have Sephora in my opinion I probably prefer Mecca over Sephora because of the brands they carry um, and they're really lovely people that work there as well Mecca send me a lot of PR they're really really lovely and when they reached out saying we'd love to send you the porcelain shade of this I was like I have swatched that and that is way too dark for me um, which is a real shame and I did say I'd love them to expand the shade range on this because I don't believe it has very good shade range but they are also going to be releasing some whitening drops and that I could be one of the first people to try it which is exciting because this hasn't been released yet I'm not sure if this little bottle is a sample size like a deluxe sample size or anything or if this is the full size product I will get back to you once I get more information but this you get 10 mils whereas the foundation you get standard 30 mils it is a really great long wearing foundation so I do like the product so, um, so yeah it's about two shades too dark for me on its own but if I just add in a little bit of the lightning drops as well I should be able to get it to a shade that's workable these are quite unique drops actually they're they've got kind of a slight pinky pinkiness to them the foundation you can see is quite yellow like it's a very warm tone foundation so I quite like that mixing in the drops will help to slightly neutralize it as well I'm just using my Thin Lizzy brush which a lot of you are always commenting on. You can't buy this individually which is why I don't link it below because you have to buy it in a set with the foundation and the Thin Lizzy foundation doesn't go down to a shade light enough for me. But if anyone knows of a dupe for this kind of brush if you've seen this sort of thing around please um, pop it in the comments. I do love that Mecca are releasing some whitening drops as well because I believe it's the same formula as the foundations. It means that you're not going to alter the actual foundation formula too drastically the only thing is that you're going to lose a bit of pigmentation obviously having to mix in white drops that don't really have any like actual color pigments okay, so I'm probably going to do two layers just to get a fuller coverage because I've got a concert today I do prefer using a beauty blender to blend this foundation out it just blends out a little bit more seamlessly I find I have to go around and kind of pat my face with the brush to get rid of streak marks but my beauty blender isn't washed and I can't be bothered walking the very short distance to my 
bathroom. You know what, I'm not gonna add a second layer. That's about a medium coverage. I think that's fine, because I'm gonna use a concealer. The concealer I'm gonna use is one that's been quite requested from you guys. It's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade C1. This was their lighter shade, and they are expanding, or they have maybe just expanded when this video goes up. I will be ordering some of the lighter shades, because this one is borderline. It's a smidge darker than Tarte Shape Tape and Fair, which means that I can wear it, it's fine, but it's not like super brightening or anything. But I must say, I do quite like the formula. It's not Tarte Shape Tape. Literally the only thing that is similar between Tarte Shape and, and this concealer is the packaging, like the slightly enlarged doe foot, you could say. There's nothing similar about it. I think that was a big have. All those YouTubers that were like, it's the same product. I'm like, have you actually compared them? <laughs> They're not the same. This is far closer to something like NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's a bit sheerer, it doesn't have as much coverage, and the formula is a little bit more moisturizing. I'm just going around with this Real Techniques brush. This is my domed shadow brush, which I use for concealer, and just kind of like pinpoint concealing where I need it. This helps to keep your skin looking like super fresh, because um, as I say, I only have like a medium coverage foundation on at the moment. I am just going to conceal the bits that I need, but I'm not going to like slather it on. I am also getting the ColourPop concealers, the new shade expansion. I'm getting the three lighter shades. One of them is white and the other two are colored ones. And so I will do a review on those when they arrive. I am also gonna use this concealer under my eyes. I'm just gonna put a few dots. And then this is my Eco Tools ear brush, no, micro blending brush. This concealer is basically a shade that just sort of melds into my skin tone, so it's not at all brightening. I think I'd get more use out of this in the real, like, height of summer. My skin's definitely starting to lighten up a lot. You can see a difference, like it definitely does conceal, but I just find it to be quite a different formula to Tarte Shape Tape, which I don't mind because my skin is definitely starting to become more drier over the years, and I feel like I'm leaning towards more hydrating moisturizing products anyway especially around the eyes when you start to see those signs of aging and then I'm going to use one of my favorite powders this I've only had for probably about two weeks and I am so in love with it is the Milani prep set and glow powder it's the most amazing translucent powder it's got this finest sort of satiny sheen to it so when you put it on it doesn't really like totally mattify um, but it sets your base beautifully and it just leaves a gorgeous finish I love it I Honestly, it's the one I've been reaching for every day. The only thing I don't like about it is you only get eight and a half grams, which is actually not that much product for a powder. And I can already, honestly, I can already see the rings starting to form in the bottom. Perhaps I use way too much, but it's just so beautiful. Thankfully though, I can buy this product actually in Australia. It's just a lot more expensive. So that's why I was quite keen to get as much Milani as I could from the States. It just worked out better, even with like having to pay for shipping and stuff. So yeah, it does, it does obviously slightly mattify your base, but you can see that my skin doesn't look flat. There's still a sort of luminosity to my cheek area. And then to contour, I'm actually gonna use a product. I just picked this up from Priceline the other day. It is the Rimmel Eyeshadow in number three, all about that base. And how nice is this? I had a subscriber recommend this to me for a great contouring product. And I was like, yes, it's so good. The formula doesn't look completely matte, I must say that. It has like the slightest satiny finish to it, but it's so unnoticeable. There's no shimmer, no glitter, nothing like that. It's just a soft sheen. So just be aware that it's not like 100% matte, but it really doesn't translate on the skin at all. It also is like the perfect fit for my NARS Eater brush. <laughs> it's just a gorgeous, soft sort of taupe shade. Not too warm, not too cool though. So people with warmer complexions could totally use this to contour. I'm just gonna pop in with my Body Shop Honey Bronzer that I've been using a lot lately. The packaging is so bad, it's so broken. So I'll just hold up one half. I'm just going to put a little wash of this around. For blush, I have two of the Milani little rose blushes. One is in Romantic Rose, this color, and this one is Tea Rose. I've used Tea Rose in a tutorial recently, so I'm going to leave that one today, but that is one of those beautiful, soft kind of pink colors on my skin. Um, Romantic Rose is a lot more of a kind of muted, dusky pink. I love them. A lot of people said these have a smell. They do have a scent if you actually get down and properly sniff it. It just sort of smells like product if you know what I mean like chemically it doesn't have like actual fragrance in it but it doesn't bother me when I'm using it like some people said it's overwhelming but that doesn't it doesn't bother me 
And then for highlight, I got a lot of highlighters. There's about four or five different highlighters, so I have to try and use them in like lots of different videos. The one I'm gonna use today, because we're sort of keeping on the Milani train, is this one, the Afterglow, Afterglow Instant Glow Powder in Strobe Light. Um, it has a very pretty packaging on it, and this is like a very beautiful champagne color. This is like a true metallic highlight. So you do get quite a bit of sheen, but there's also a lot of back pigment, if you know what I mean. That's sort of the way I like to think of metallic highlights, is they're like more sort of like an eyeshadow formula. Um, glossy highlights tend to have little to no sort of actual back pigment. And then your satin highlights are ones that have a lot of pigment, but a lot more of, you know, a lot less metallic-y sheen. The only thing I find with metallic highlighters is that they do emphasize a lot of texture. So if you have quite textured skin, I would stay away from metallic highlighters. Glossy looks good, or else a very, very soft satin. Yeah, metallic highlight can be very, very like illuminating of skin texture problems. So for that reason, I quite like to go back over with my powder brush once I've applied a very intense metallic highlighter. And then, if it's still not sort of melding in with my skin enough, I'll go in with my beauty blender or foundation brush and just kind of press the product into the skin. You can see how much more sort of natural that looks. It looks like it's kind of blended a bit more in with my skin texture. So you're not left with an eyeshadow stripe on your skin. For setting spray, I'm gonna use this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I've been wanting to try that scent for a while because Emily Noel suggested it. And these are not like setting sprays in the sense of they're not going to make your makeup last any longer, but they're just more like facial mists. You can use them in your skincare routine. Um, I often just use them to like wet brushes and yeah, just get rid of powderiness on my skin. For eyebrows, I'm going to use this little Annabelle Universal Taupe Skinny Brow Liner. So this is a Canadian product. The color of this product is really, really lovely. I do still prefer my BH Cosmetics pencil. But I think this is great if you're somewhere that has Annabelle in the drugstores and doesn't have access to the BH Cosmetics. I think this is this is a really good product. It's a really nice skinny size too. For eyeshadow today, we are using the Milani palettes, which I'm so excited about. The only thing is look how bad the packaging is. It gets so fingerprinty. Um, I've got the Most Loved Mattes and the Bold Obsessions palettes. These have really been doing the rounds on YouTube and the beauty community. People are going nuts over them and for good reason. They are absolutely gorgeous palettes. They're not yet available in Australia on the Milani website, which is why I wanted to get them from the States. So thank you Lacey for helping me get these. But I'm hoping that they come here soon because it would be great if we had access to them here. First I'm going to go in though with the Milani eyeshadow primer. I'm not a big primer person for eyes. I just seem to forget to use it every time. But this one was recommended by Emily Noel countless times she loves this it's her holy grail but I don't really have issues with like my eyeshadows creasing or fading throughout the day so that's kind of why I don't really reach for an eyeshadow primer because I don't find it 100% necessary but I'm going to be wearing this makeup for a pretty decent amount today and on stage and stuff so I should I should put some effort in <laughs> so I'm going to start by taking this matte nude shade just to use as a base all over the eyes just to kind of set that primer, essentially. Otherwise, I feel like if I go straight in over primer, sometimes my transition shades and stuff can get a bit patchy. So I like to go in with a nude matte shade first. Then I'm gonna take this super fluffy brush. This is by BH Cosmetics, their number 16 brush. And I'm actually going to go in with this shade up here. This has a slight sheen to it, but it's not like a super shimmery shade or anything. So I'm just gonna use it as a transition color because why not? What I like about this palette is it's got a pretty good mix of warms and cools in it. I thought it was just a warm toned palette, but when I got it and was playing it with it, I was like, oh, wow, you've got like quite nice sort of like taupey colors um, and obviously like the blue and the black. And like this middle row is definitely very warm, but the other sides, if you got rid of that middle row, you can see it's quite a cool toned palette. So I'm actually really, really happy with it. And I love the matte palette as well. In fact, I'm probably gonna get rid of my Tarte Tartlet palette because I have that new Milani matte palette. And I think it's much better quality, the shadows. Yeah, these are definitely worth their hype. You can get them for $15 at Walmart or on the Milani website, I think they're $20. Now I've just wet my brush and I'm gonna go in with this shimmery champagne shade. The only shade in here that I was like, this doesn't really work that well for me is this gold. I used it the other day. It's a little bit too, 
too warm tone for me. I think I could use it as a little accent color, but not so much like all across the lid in there. It was just way, way too sort of warm toned. It made me look a little bit unwell. But this shimmery champagne shade is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. You don't have to wet your brush with it either. I just find that it helps to have a little bit less fallout because these shadows do have a decent amount of fallout with them, which is not always a terrible thing, but because I do my base first, I like to avoid fallout if I can. Then I'm going to pop in with this burgundy shade. Just sort of put this into the crease. Just using quite a small amount because I don't want it to be like a super cranberry look or anything. I just want a bit of that colour. And then I'm going to go in with this dark brown down here and quite a tapered blending brush. It's going to build up some of the depth in this outer portion of the crease. I'm also just going to take that flat shader brush I was using and we're just going to pack it on the outer part of the actual lid as well. Just right over top of the shimmer. It'll just deepen that part of the eye up a little bit more. But it kind of mixes with the shimmer to create something not not too deep. Then I'm going to take a small pencil brush and just a bit of that deep brown colour and just connect it to my lower lash line a little. Then I'm just going to take my Essence Extreme Lasting Waterproof Eyeliner, which I've really been enjoying, <laughs> and just use this to define the lash line a bit. And then on my waterline, I'm going to go in with another Annabelle product. This is their Waterline Luminous Coal Eyeliner in Champagne. This is quite a sheer pencil. I'd normally not pick something quite so subtle for a more dramatic look, but for day to day, I really love this pencil. For mascara, I'm just going to go in with this L'Oreal False Lash X Fiber Mascara. It's not my favorite mascara in the world, but I do think it's pretty good. So that's side one, and then I'm going to pop in with side two, which are the fibres. I'm just going to pop on a bit of my Essence Make Me brow as well. I realised I didn't use a brow gel or anything. <laughs> Lastly for lipsticks, I'm going to pop on this Milani lipstick. This is their colour statement lipstick in the shade 89 Naked. I can't remember for the life of me who recommended this was a good colour, but it's amazing. It's lovely. I think it might have actually been Kaylee that suggested this. I'll pop a link to her channel in the description for you because she's awesome. I'd definitely check her out. The scent has a very sort of synthetic watermelon scent to it. The colour of this is just beautiful. It's a very borderline mauve sort of nude shade, like quite deep, which is nicer for when I'm like on a stage, you know, you want your lips to really stand out. And the formula of these lips is beautiful as well. It's got a real nice sort of creaminess to it. It's lovely. Feeling like I just need to add a little something under my eye. So I'm going to go in with my matte palette from Milani. And I'm just going to take this shade here with a small sort of fluffy brush. And I'm just going to see if we can add a bit of shadow under there. Just something was missing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me. It does really help me out. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!